So today we're going to be looking a little bit at algebra tiles and specifically area and perimeter of algebra tiles. I have a bunch of other videos about algebra tiles. They're actually pretty useful for solving equations and you can do a lot of neat stuff with them. But we're going to start with just introducing exactly kind of what they look like and thinking a little bit about how you can use them for area and perimeter. So the first thing you have to think about is exactly what the various algebra tiles you have are. The one that you will commonly see is just a little box like this. And when you see a little box like this, the value of that, we've got perimeter of one on each side. And so that would mean that the perimeter would equal one plus one plus one plus one. So our perimeter of this, remember perimeter is going all the way around would be four. And our area, okay, I'll actually write area. Our area would be one times one. We have width times length. And so our area of that is one. You also see a slightly longer rectangular shape in algebra tiles. And this one often will have an X inside it. And that means the value at the bottom and the top of that width is one, and the value of the sides is X. So it's a little confusing to think about because you're like, what does X represent? Well, in this case, it's just kind of what it is. It's an unknown value. And so they'll sometimes with graph paper, they'll line up with exactly one, but then it'll be not quite one on the side. So we've got a value of one, and so if we were to think about our perimeter, and I'll write this so it's a little more clear, perimeter would be going around the sides, so we could add those together, x plus one plus x plus one, x plus one plus x plus one, um, which also is two x plus two, okay? And our area of this one is x times one, okay? So that's x times one, and we know that any number times one is gonna be itself. So these are the most important parts right here though. The area is one, the area of this one is gonna be x. And then the third shape that you will sometimes see with algebra tiles is this larger square. And it often will have an x squared in it. And so that means that each side's length, the length and the width are gonna be x. So this is x, 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 and x. So if we were to think about the perimeter, for this, it would be x plus x plus x plus x, or four, well, I'll just write it out, x plus x plus x plus x equals four x, or we could also say the, oh, sorry, or four x, and we can also say the area is x times x or x squared. Okay, our area equals x times x, which is x squared. So again, the area right here is x squared. So we're going to be using these values to solve lots of problems. And so you'll start and we might get something um, like this to begin with. Let me, sorry, let me cut this out a little bit. Um, so we might have something like this. And so in this shape right here, we can see, we see three of these long x's, but they're stacked next to each other. And we need to find the area and the perimeter. So if we're finding the area and the perimeter of that, we're going to start by by thinking first area. So we'll say the area equals, and the area again is everything that's inside. We know the area of these long ones are x, and it even says it. So we just have to do x plus another x plus another x. So we have x plus x plus x. If we were to combine those terms together, sort of simplify it, if you will, we would end up with 3x. So our area of this is equal to 3x. Our perimeter would be going around. And if we're going around these, I think it's most helpful to actually write the values and then you can kind of add them up. So this long side right here, remember with these, this is gonna be equal to X. This long side right here, this is also equal to X. And then the tops and the bottoms are equal to one. So I put one, 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 and one. Now to find the perimeter, I just have to kind of navigate my way around. So I would just add these all together, X, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus x, plus one, plus one, plus one. So I could write that out in kind of a long math problem. x plus one, plus one, plus one, plus x, plus one, plus one. All right, that takes a while, but we could add, and then we could combine these together, and we can combine the x's together. So that gives us two x's, and we can see that here, two x's. And the perimeter, we've got three up on top, three on bottom, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, so plus six. So this would be sort of like the combined or simplified version. Again, when you're combining, you have to remember you can't combine x's and ones. Those are two different things. 
but you have to keep those separate. So 2x plus 6 would be our perimeter. Then let's do one other one. Let's do, actually, yeah, we'll do this one. Um, this one's going to, we're going to add some more complicated stuff to them at this point, okay? So we're going to look for the area and the perimeter. And so for this one, we're going to see we've got a big x squared, okay? We've got an x right here and an x right here. Even though they're turned the sideways, it's the same value. And then we also see one of these ones. Sometimes they don't actually write a one, so I like to write a one when I get one of those, okay? And with this one, um, what we'll see is that we're going to fill in some of the information. So first, first we need to find the area. And so for the area of this one, we're going to add, again, add all the pieces together. So this is an x squared piece. We're going to have x squared. We've got an x right here and an x right here. So I'm going to add plus x plus x. And then I also have a 1 on the bottom, so plus 1. And I'm going to combine the like terms together. Sorry, I'll scoot that over a little bit. We're going to combine the like terms together, which in this case are the x's. We can combine those together. And rewrite this as x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay? So we are adding all of those together. This is our simplified sort of area. If we want to find the perimeter, it's going to be a little bit more tricky for this one. We've got a lot to write down. So I see this is an x length right here. This is an x length right here. This is an x length right here. The side, which is like that top part right there, is going to be 1, 1. I've got a 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here. And then i got this part right here. Now this, this is kind of like the trickiest part because it's not a full length of the x. It's only part of the x. And how much less is it than like a whole one? It is one less. So we know that this part right here is equal to one. So that means what is left is gonna be x minus this one, because we can only talk about from here to here. So we're gonna call this x minus one. Then we're gonna combine all of those together to get our perimeter. Um, I'm just gonna, rather than writing out a big long expression, we're just gonna kind of do it as is. We see one x, two x, three x, four x's, so I've got four x's, I've got a plus one, a plus one, a plus one, a plus one, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it's plus seven, and then we can't forget right there, it's a, a minus one as well, so we're gonna have to subtract one at the end. So we can then do the math right there, and we'll get four x plus six is our perimeter. And again, this makes sense, we've got four x's, we got seven ones, but we got one minus one, so that would give us our perimeter. So for al these algebra tile problems, really what you gotta do, area, just add together the pieces. The value is actually usually just on them. Then combine what is similar. For the perimeter, think about the values of each of them. Again, these three things are really important to think about. And then combine the pieces together. And that's area and perimeter for algebra tiles.